Today I'm demonstrating Audition DSP. It's a real-time processing engine and audio player built into Fur Designer M version 4. To open Audition DSP, from the Audition DSP menu, select Launch. Now choose your audio device. Here I'm using a Fireface 400. Then choose the audio device sample rate. Next, we can load a WAV file for audio playback. For example, a noise signal which can be used for spectrum or SPL measurements. Let's start with a simple IIR three-way. On the IIR tab, we can see it's made up of Linkwit's Riley fourth order crossovers. Back on Audition DSP, we select the Fur Designer M window. Now select Get Settings. The output channels will become active and show basic processing information like the IIR mode, the number of bike watts, gain, delay and fur filter length. Before we start Audition DSP, since we're using file playback, we need to set each output channel to source audio from the WAV file. Now press the play button to start. The gray columns are meters that show both signal peak in the middle and RMS on the shoulders, and they each have a range of minus 60 to 0 dBFS. As we unmute the outputs, we can hear each separate output of the multiway. Each output can be sent to a different audio device output channel for feeding separate amplifier channels using the drop down menu. Here, each of the processing channel outputs are summed together and sent to the same audio device channel. This can be helpful as a sanity check over either headphones or a full range loudspeaker before sending the audio to individual amplifier channels. In this example, the audio device and all the channels are running at 48 kHz. However, we can load and use a 96 kHz WAV file, and Audition DSP will insert sample rate conversion. The audio sample rate will be converted to the sample rate of the audio device. Also, instead of file playback, the processing can use real-time input from the audio device itself. Let's start the processing again, and change the channels to use live input. We can change the inputs and outputs anytime while Audition DSP is running. Live input can be used for listening to favorite content from external sources. Or, you can run a measurement system like Rational Acoustics Smart, through Audition DSP, and through the loudspeaker preset, all in real time. Now let's try a more complicated system that uses different sample rates. This preset is designed for a Lake Fur three-way module, or a Lake XP module, where the input processing runs at 96 kHz, and the output channels each run at different sample rates depending on their frequency range. For example, 12 kHz for the low, 24 kHz for the mid, and 48 kHz for the high. On Audition DSP, we can get the settings for this preset and confirm the sample rates on each channel. Note that the input channel hasn't become active because this preset doesn't have any IIR filters running at the input position. For this system, Audition DSP is using sample rate conversion between the audio device sample rate and the specific sample rate processing in each of the channels. Where sample rate converters are used on the output channels, matching delay is added to the other channels to maintain relative time alignment across all the channels. Let's change the playback file to music, check the input source settings, and listen to the preset. In addition to the channel mutes, there's a mute all option, and also an output volume which affects all output channels. On each of the outputs, we can also bypass the fur filters to listen to the preset, both with and without filters.
Now let's see how to compare different presets. This system has a high pass filter at the input position, which will affect all the output channels. So back on Audition DSP, we can choose to load this as preset 2. Then select the Fur Designer M window from the drop down menu and get the settings. Now, if we start Audition DSP, we can set each of the output channels to take audio from the input channel. And with all audio originating from the input channel, we can use the input select on the input channel to choose either file or live input. With Audition DSP running, we can switch between the presets and listen for any differences between them. Since nothing is loaded on preset 3, preset 3 is silent. That's it for today. Check out EclipseAudio.com to download free demo versions of the Fur Designer range of loudspeaker processing tools.